it shift them. Obviously, we have this formation. We can even think about what the max of it might be, you know? So, uh, it's that same notion of flexible, adaptable. It goes back to the question that you keep bringing up uh, about how does the space sort of engage stimulus or stimulus in the kids the environment itself. And it's, it's really about, um, instead of creating a space, um, here's here's what you can do with it, or you know, to build it, to build the space with stuff. The sort of the space that's created, or the sort of the structure, the model that's created, is that everything's embedded within the walls of your classroom, and you can find it however you want. It. And just as we're sort of presenting in an interactive way, and have all these things that move and sort of adjust to each other, you can imagine the classroom would it would never be truly defined in one certain situation. It would be constantly changing. Constantly um, reflecting on this idea of, of instead of lecturing the students, kids learn hands on, they understand that they're, be, they're able to arrange the space or create their own learning environments. They're able to engage with it in the way that they like because it's, it's learning to play. And I'm sure there's a lot more information that we missed. Can we talk now? <laughs> Go for it. Well, actually, we got one more thing. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> sort of based off of one of the uh, ideas of of uh, a module. This is an example here, an early example of a renders that we sort of started with. Was that two of these modules could pop out, they could become a projector, and uh, and I sort of got hindered by the idea that okay, yeah, but it's starting to get a little expensive when you're packing technology and it's in sort of walls like micro-compact home or something that's sort of is complicated and built. But uh, then I, I came across this website, I'm sure many of you have heard of it, um, this idea of the Wii Remote Project by John and Chung Lee. Um, you can basically create an uh, interactive whiteboard um, for as little as $50. And I actually <laughs> created mine for $1.50 because I <laughs> borrowed uh, my Wii Remote from my buddy Jake over there. And I uh, built my uh, infrared light panel uh, with a switch, a resistor, and infrared light for $1.50 at Radio Shack. And it's a little not simple, but it works. <laughs> um, and for use of this purposes, I'm going to remove the head just so that it's a little more manageable. But uh, you can kind of be sort of a uh, pen type thing. But you basically set up your screen. And you calibrate it. I'm pointing the infrared light to the sensor in the Wii Remote. Setting up the boundaries of the screen. And then it sort of becomes an interactive surface. It's like CNN. <laughs> it really becomes engaging when you're able to interact with a surface such as this model that I've set up where you can actually remove these modules as I've been uh, as we've been talking about in our presentation. And set them up in a way that defines a sort of classroom. sort of manipulate your space and this could be something that kids could interact with and understanding how to create their environments. It's gonna be you know, a little project. But the idea is that these spaces are sort of created <laughs> spaces are sort of created where you can um, <laughs> so just as you arrange the space in the interior of the classroom, these modules are movable, and the outdoor classroom becomes a new experience for the child because they're on grass, they're outdoors, there's 
awesome amounts of light, and everything is embedded right within the structure. So it's writing a curriculum through architecture. Anybody who wants to try it, uh, <laughs> try it.